taking the oath of office as president, a day after the country's former ruler fled into exile. Former Health, Culture and Information Minister Fouad Mabaza immediately called on the Prime Minister to form a national unity government. The state will continue to work for the formation of a government in accordance with the constitution and it is in the state's supreme interest that the upcoming government be a national unity government. Therefore, I request the Prime Minister Mohamed Ghanoushi nominate the members of the government. The Prime Minister, now charged with the job of forming a government, must also satisfy critics who say he was too close to the former president. The president has left and it's almost impossible for him to return. The issue today is not a matter of law, it's a matter of saving our country and our people. What's important is what the people want. The political developments came as dozens were reported dead in rioting at four of the country's prisons. One fire believed to have been started by an inmate setting fire to a mattress in an attempt to escape. All the inmates have escaped. We are still receiving dead bodies at this hospital and we are still counting the casualties. Meanwhile, the security situation is deteriorating and people fear the emergence of armed militia attempting to take control of the city. And on the streets of central Tunis, the appearance of calm under the heavy presence of the country's military. Long live Tunisia the Great. Bin Ali the criminal has fled. This Tunisian man shouts from the street. The joy of the momentous changes celebrated by many in the country. Others used it as an excuse to loot shops, many fearing a descent into greater chaos. I am a Tunisian citizen. I have no one to defend me. I have never in my life carried a knife, but now I have one. Tunisian airspace has reopened, but only during daylight hours, when an ongoing curfew is not in effect. After 23 years of authoritarian rule, opposition groups must now step forward to play their part in the country's future. But with presidential elections at least two months away, any and all political negotiations are sure to test the nation's patience. Hazm Sika, Al Jazeera.